Nessa girl, did you get into this episode of the underground? Let me tell you something. This episode of underground right here is exactly why I don't fuck with light skin hoes. I told y'all a long time ago, don't keep no red bitch around you. You cannot trust no red bitch. Okay, let me tell y'all something. These two light skin hoes on underground, one of them trying to break up the scene and fuck up the plan, and the other one damn near got the whole damn plantation whooped. I'm telling you, y'all. They lazy. They ain't good for shit. You can't trust their ass. Lord, my ass. <laughs> I'm up here like Donald Trump starting all kind of shit in the black community. Dividing us the hell up. And with that, honey, my hair is laying like the one who was saved. Miss Ernestine. Girl, let's just get into this episode of The Underground. Can y'all believe this old Kenya Moore looking motherfucker trying to break up the scene and divide up all the slaves? No tea, no shade. That bitch got bad skin just like Kenya Moore. And she dog. I, and Journey smiling. Quiet as a skip honey. They say fish don't burn in the kitchen and beans don't burn on the grill, but they need to leave your ass on the plantation if they trying to get up that hill. Do Jesus. They need to leave her ass there because she don't damn they got the whole damn plantation whooped because she couldn't get the damn seal back in time. No, God, honey, you got to learn to be a little more crafty like your mama. Start fucking your daddy. He don't mind. Yeah, that coochie look good this season, honey. You don't stir them beans and rice up long enough. Get that man some. Since you don't want to give nobody else none on the plantation. Mm-mm. So let me stop being, being so vulgar. This is a serious matter. Y'all, I just love this episode of Underground. I'm not going to lie to you. At first, I was riding with the light-skinned nigga. I was like, you know what? We need him. We need him because he's speaking language. He wear the clothes. He might know how to read and write. And he might know some of the righteous ways of the good white folks that play to the blue-eyed, blonde-haired Jesus. But lo and behold, he just as divisive as he want to be old jealous Negro. Let, let me tell you something. Light-skinned people, see... The way y'all act, this shit inherited. This shit go back 400 years. And unlike Maya Angelou, all this jealousy and divisiveness is not the hope and the dream of the slave. How is we supposed to rise? And you write me down in history with your bitter, twisted lies. No, God, honey. I'm ready for somebody to post some acid on the other side of his damn face. Because I'm about tired of his ass. I'm tired of him. This don't make no sense. All right? You know, now, at first, y'all, I was like, Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Journey Smollett finna get everybody ass what well, 50 lashes, bitch, is a whole lot of damn lashes. Some of y'all hoes that get y'all individual lashes done ain't even got 50 lashes. 50 lashes is a whole, I'm like, Lord, they gonna beat the men's women and the children. Then the people gonna fuck around and get beat the next day because their arms and back and legs and body gonna be sore. They can't pick their 400 pounds of cotton per day. She... Light-skinned people will fuck up the whole organization. Don't you put no light-skinned hoe in charge. They're only good for one thing. Quote-unquote being pretty. Put, sit them hoes over to the side. But when it come to thinking of a master plan, when it come to world domination, don't give them hoes no critical role. I'm telling you, look cute and smile. Look cute and smile. Hey, girl, you down for the cause? Oh, you light-skinned. Oh, you over there with them look cute and smile. You on that committee. Hospitality. We put them hoes on the hospitality committee. But they will not be on planning. They will not be on budget. And they damn sure will not be on um, strategic policy. Put them hoes on hospitality. Wave and smile. Anyway, girl. Ernestine. We mess with Miss Ernestine. Because she ain't all the way light skin. She brown. So she still got some hood in her. She still got some nigga in her. Ernestine is crafty as hell, baby. Yes, God, she is one cunning mamma jamma. Lord have mercy, Jesus. Miss Ernestine saved um, Journey Smiling from Rosalie from getting her ass beat and the rest of the damn plantation. Let me tell you something. I know I have been calling them white folks crafty crackers, but Miss Ernestine, you one crafty bitch. Yes, God, honey, she paid that white man's son off to take that seal and fuck up the flow because she knew the mama was not going to get mad at the little boy. Come on, Ernestine. Yes, God, honey. Now, <laughs> Ernestine, Ernestine about one journey smiling ass too damn die because you making her job hard. And that lady already told you she working hard to keep y'all safe. And the way she fucked that man down in the cellar, girl, I'm still hot from last week. But I ain't going to start talking all that vulgarity and stuff. And good thing the producers and the writers heard my call and made sure Aldis Hodge kept his clothes on. Because, girl, it's laundry that I ain't got no more clean panties and I'm going to leave it at that. 
Anyway, y'all, underground, I'm getting ready to go down to the bar, so I hate to rush the feeling. That's 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 the girl. I think that's Barbara calling. Her. I'll call her back. But baby, underground, y'all keep doing what you're doing. This episode was everything. Um, y'all just when you go to work tomorrow, you got to pay attention to the white folks that be at the Trump rally, and you got to pay attention to the holes that pass the brown paper bag test. You can't trust these light skin hoes with these long hair. They re re remember what I said. They ain't good for nothing else but being pretty. No, I'm just playing, y'all. We got enough colorism and divisive uh, attitudes in our community. I'm going to even take the wig off. I don't need y'all cussing me out. I'm just playing. It was funny. It was a joke that was in line with the show. But y'all, underground, 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 WGN, Journey. Oh, bitch, my boyfriend on there next week. Hey, daddy. Girl, y'all saw um in the uh, sneak preview for next week. Justin Smollett is going to be featured on there. He was looking all rugged and shit. Um, looking all trade. Come on, Jesse. Jesse, Jesse, Jesse. I mean, that is awesome how they cross promoting and taking somebody from Empire, actually, Empire. Oh, shit. Come on, y'all, some old crafty ass niggas. This show come on Wednesday next week and Empire come back next Wednesday. Come on, Planet. Somebody had to follow the drinking gorge and synced up the damn television schedules. On that note, I'm finna get the hell up out of here. Y'all giving me too much. For my black blood to handle. Anyway, that's a girl. I'm finna get in here and shave. If you want some, come get some. Meet me down to the bar. Bye!